Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Ride C8 bindings. I rode these bindings at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with cooler temps, zero wind, chunder snow, icy snow, fresh powder, corduroy, kind of just a mix of all conditions, and I rode them on my K2 Cool Bean with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to the adjustability on this binding, you got some pretty standard options. You got flip cams on the toe and heel strap to just help lengthen or shorten them if you need to. You got an adjustable heel cup. There's a slide track for sliding the heel strap forward or backward, depending on where you want to position it. You got two placement options for the high back if you want to rotate it or not. You do have a forward lean adjustment that you can do on the fly. The toe ramp as well can be slid forward or backwards just a little bit to dial it in. And then you got two disc options. You got plastic and metal. Basically plastic, a little more flexible, a little more board feel. Metal, it's gonna make it a little more stiff, not quite as damp. When it comes to the heel strap, they're reversible. So this black plastic here is a little more rigid with the gray having a little more flex to it. So you can flip it if you wanna have it be a little stiffer or a little more forgiving. I did ride it with both options, and I prefer just having the gray on the top so that there's a little more flex into it when you drive it. What's nice is that it is that minimal design, so you don't have to worry about the leather stretching or just pinch points. It just stays uniform, cradles right over that instep, and lets you drive in it. Now, with the toe strap, it is rubber with a harder plastic around there, so there is a little bit of give in there. With the way the shaping of it is, it won't fit all boot shapes. I know this. I'm not a fan of that, but it is minimal. It does grip. With me using a K2 boot and a ride binding, it does work. And the other thing is with everyone being all nostalgic for the 90s, if you want to go old school and rock it up over the top, I guess you can if that's your thing. With the ratchets, they feel secure. They stayed locked in. You got that one finger quick release. It works, they feed well, they climb exceptionally well, they stay locked in, like I said. The one thing that I would note is these were brand new ratchets. They did feel a little bit sticky right out the box. There will be a bit of a break in period to them. What's nice is the size of them. They're easy to torque. You don't have to worry about anything. I never felt them disengaged. They never got stuck on me. They just did what you want a ratchet to do. With the high back, they're a little stiffer than you think they would be, so when you drive into it, you notice right away that it's like hitting a wall, and that stiffness is pretty much right here. There is a little more give on the lateral outsides of them, so if you do rotate your high back, you'll notice that you have some give to it. The forward lean adjustment, it works well on the fly. You don't really have to worry about it. Flip it down, unscrew it, look, it slides down, you slide it back up, you twist it, you pop it, it locks. It does what you need it to do. At the end of the day, it's a high back. It's not the thickest thing. It's not the thinnest thing. There is some power out of it. You don't have to worry when you're driving into it. When it comes to the flex of this binding, it's a powerful workhorse. It's one of those bindings that's not quite a high-end freestyle binding, but it's definitely not like a free ride charging binding. It's just a binding that you can put on, tweak it as you need to with its adjustments, and go right. What I like about it is the fact that you've got that reversible strap. So you got softer in the gray, harder in the black. So if you want to drive into it more aggressively and want more response, you flip it, you got that black. If you want it to be a little more soft and forgiving, you use the gray section on the top. It does what it needs to do. Now, with the way the shape of the footbed is on this thing, you do get some binding roll side to side in there that gives it a little more lateral play. Not a crazy amount, but there is a little bit. It is designed to be a damp binding. And then finally with the flex, you can tweak it with the discs. You got the plastic if you want it more forgiving. You got the aluminum if you want it a little more rigid. That's what's nice about it. You can really just dial in your preference with this. And it's a workhorse binding. You can pretty much go do anything with this and not have to worry about it. The overall ride feel of this binding is predictable. You strap into it and you know what you're gonna get. You don't hesitate if you wanna go free ride, you wanna go carve a groomer, or you wanna go hit the park. You can kinda just balance everything out with it and know that it's going to handle it. 
So who's this binding for? It's for the all mountain rider that's gonna do everything. So with Ride overhauling their binding line and adding composite to it, they did a really good job with the C8 this year. I do think that they did that. It is a little bit bulkier than the A8. You'll notice that, and that's just a visual observation. It just seems wider, it feels wider, so it just creates a bigger dead spot. I don't like the fact that you've only got one placement for the toe straps. You can't adjust them back. They're pretty much there, and it is a little bit narrower, so certain boot shapes aren't going to fit as well on the this strap. That's my grip. What I do like is that you can flip those heel straps, get more diversity in there, you know, really dial in your preference, as well as adding either that aluminum or that plastic disc. That just gives you more options. It's a great offering and it's a damp, predictable ride. Like you put this on and you're like, oh, okay, I know what I'm going to get with this and you don't have to worry about it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to see us just grow out further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.